Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I apologize, I could not do a video yesterday, and today, actually, I wasn't planning to because I don't feel good. I think you can tell from my voice. Um, today, we will have a little chat. I'm not going to stay long. I wasn't actually planning to go, but I feel, I feel better now. So I said, let me have some little time with our beloved friends and family. Um, our topic today is about food. Now, still, we are going to talk about Islam. So don't think I'm going to talk about cooking and recipes or how to make shish kebab. Uh, you know, all of us, uh, we hear that Muslims, they say that the Quran is the amazing book of wisdom. And this book is beyond, uh, I mean, it's astonishing. Now, you know, for those who don't speak Arabic, I mean, you read translation, so... But even with the translation, with the help of someone like me, maybe, you can see how silly, how stupid this book. And today we will do that exactly. Have you ever thought that there is a book, it's called the Book of God, is going to teach you, you can eat with who? Imagine if I am God and I say to you, you can eat in the house of your brother and in the house of your sister. And not only that, in your house. I mean, that's really astonishing. I need God wisdom to teach me that I can eat in my house. You're allowed. Allah allowed you to eat in your house. Allah allow you to eat what is in your refrigerator. I mean, what do you want more? Have you ever heard of such a silly wisdom? God is teaching me to eat in my house. Hey, Christian Prince, you are allowed to eat the food to eat the food in your house. I mean, before Islam, nobody knows that. We need God to say to us, you can eat in your house. I mean, what do you want more? What's wrong with you? I don't make my blood pressure go uh, up now. <laughs> I apologize, really. I'm, I don't feel good. But still remembering this is stupidity make me feel better. And I really miss, miss you all. Anyway, we will not stay long here. Please invite your friends. And let us read together some of the silliness of this book. It's called Holy Book of Allah. Now, if there is any Muslim who don't agree with me, please leave your comment and tell me what do you think. Be honest. All right? You Muslims, you give us headache about how amazing the Quran is. But, I mean, for those who speak Arabic like me, I find it very silly, very stupid. And I think now you will see it yourself, even in your own translation. Okay. Guys, read with me the wisdom of Allah. This is not me talking. This is Allah. Oh boy, no blame is there upon the blind, okay, nor any blame upon the lame, uh -huh, the one who cannot walk straight, or no blame upon the sick, nor on yourself if you eat in your houses. Like what? Hello? Hello, hello, it's me you're looking for. Allah crazy as never before. He just allowed you if you are blind, so you can eat in your house. Hello. Finally, finally we found God who can say to us that a blind man, he can eat in his house. I mean, come on! And if you have a if you have a problem with your foot, you can eat in your house too. And not only that, even if you don't, if you are sick like me now, I'm sick. I don't feel good. I can eat in my house. Thank you, Allah. Allah, really, 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 thank you. I cannot really say how much I appreciate your wisdom. I think Allah has spent like a two thousand years to think about this. If not. Uh, you know, I don't know how, how much time took him. I mean, this is this is too much. So, if you are blind, there is no blame. Allah, don't blame you. I mean, come on. 
Allah don't blame you if you eat in your house Allah don't blame you if you are a lame and you eat in your house Allah don't blame you if you are sick and you eat your house and Allah blame don't blame you even if you are not sick I mean what the point of this saying that is sick and I mean it's just so stupid it is and what is that I don't want my blood uh, rusher to go high again. I mean, this is so silly and so stupid. And then look, guys, or the houses of your father, really? Hey, son, you can eat in my house. You are six years old, and you can eat in my house, okay? You can eat in my house. Wow. Allah is really giving us extra permission to eat in the house of our father. Before nobody knows that. I mean, don't can't you see? Are you blind or what? Thank you guys for your prayer. Thank you. I, I, I'm getting better. You know, I I, I ordered dry, uh, camel urine uh, as the prophet. You know, the prophet he is the best in uh, in medicine. You know. Uh, even he give honey to anyone even if you have diabetes mm -hmm. just to drink honey anyway so you can eat in the house of your father or the house of your mother's wow I can I mean all those years I was not eating in the house of my mother I thought I cannot now finally Finally, I can eat in the house of my mother. Allah, he just gave us his wisdom. Allah, he gave us his permission. Or the houses of your brothers. Wow. I can eat in the house of my brother. Thank you, Allah. I really, really thank you, Allah. Guys, aren't you seeing how much wisdom is involved in this verse? Hmm? What's wrong with you? You should be converting left and right to Islam right now. And you can eat or the house of your sisters. Wow. I never thought that this is allowed. Nobody. Nobody come with such a permission before. No Buddhas, no Hindus, no Christian, no Jews, no atheist. Only Allah. He gave us permission to eat in our houses. Let us count together, guys, how many wise statements we just heard, which is astonishing. Allah said, if you are a blind, brother, or there is no blame on you, brother, if you are a blind, if you are a blind and you eat in your house. And there is no blame, brother, if you have a problem with your foot, you cannot wait straight, brother, so you can eat in your house too. And brother, there is no blame on you if you are sick and you eat in your house, brother. Or even, even if you are not sick of any of those, you can still eat in your house. I mean, that's beautiful. That's so wise. And then after Allah allowed all those categories to eat in their houses, thanks Allah. I was, I was afraid I have to eat in the house of the neighbor. He is so cheap and his house is dirty. I mean, finally, thank you, thank you. I don't want to get sick, really. Uh. And then after Allah, he count for us the houses of our father we can eat in, and the house of our mother we can eat in, and the house of your brother you can eat in, and the house of your sister you can eat in, and the houses of your father brother your father's brothers what 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 what, what? Fa father brothers that's been my uncle right okay allah allow me to eat in my uncle house look at the mercy of allah i mean if we don't have this verse in the quran do you know what will happen to us let us be honest here.
Hmm? Why, why you people are not facing the truth? <laughs> or the house of your father, sisters. <laughs> so, <laughs> you can eat in the house of your auntie, brother. Allah, he says it's okay. Or the houses of your mother, brothers. Man, I'm getting dizzy. Already I'm dizzy. Or the houses of your mother, sisters. Oh, boy. Things is getting complicated. Or in any house, you have the key for it. Ooh. Me. Hey, hold on, hold on. So if my friend, he gave me the key to water his uh, 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 plants inside the house, I can eat uh, steel from his fridge? <laughs> I mean, oh, oh boy. And the wisdom goes beyond. Look at this coming sentence. No, 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 Allah, he will not stop here. It is not sin. It is not sin. To eat, whether you eat together or apart. If, 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 if. What? It is not sin if we eat all together or we eat apart. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. I mean, Oh boy. And you are telling me that this is not the book of God. What's wrong with you? What's really wrong with you? Now we knew by the help of Allah that it is not sin. If I eat, we eat together or we eat alone, each one of us alone. It's not sin. Before we thought it's sin. And now you are still asking yourself why the Muslim they say Allah knows best and Allah all wise and all knowing. And then Allah he continues said. And when you enter the houses, salute one another. With a greeting from Allah, but the Muslim they were saluting and the Arab were saluting before Islam, and even they say Assalamu Alaikum. Pleased and sweet, thus Allah make it clear His revelation for you, so you may understand. So Allah now He may help us to understand. I mean, what's wrong? Did you still you do not understand? So Allah, he made this revelation for a purpose. So he make you understand. That's so wise. That's so beautiful. That's so amazing. I'm really, I'm really wondering why sometimes people don't understand the Quran so beyond understanding, imagination, wisdom, knowledge, strength. It's each time I read the Quran, I feel like I want to convert to Islam again and again. This God is something. Is this God is taking too much hashish? And you know, these days, if you take too much hashish, uh, Bernie Sanders will uh, help you to be in the White House. Oh, hashish. Do you know what the hashish? When the Muslim they speak about. A book of wisdom or such a book do you even know what is written in your book why we need this verse and what if we take this verse off the Quran what will happen we will not learn that we can eat in our houses before Islam is not allowed for somebody he have a, he's a blind to eat in his house Allah now he gave permission so before that the blind he used to eat where hmm? 
the lame he cannot eat in his house before Islam and now Allah he gave him permission to eat in his house the person who is sick he can eat in his house and me and you anyone yourself can eat in your house what what is this about Who want to sing this verse for us? I want a Muslim to sing this verse for us. No blame is upon you if you are blind and you eat in your house. No blame upon you if you are a lame and you eat in your house. No blame upon you if you are sick and you eat in your house and no blame upon yourself if you eat in your house no blame upon you if you eat in the house your father no blame upon you if you eat in the houses of your mother no blame upon you if you eat in the houses of your brothers. No blame upon you if you eat in the houses of your sisters. So beautiful, so wise. Now we can go and eat. Let me call my mom. Ta -da -din, ta -da -din. Mom, guess what? I just saw in the Quran that I can eat in your house. What? I was eating in your house all my life. I know, I know, but what? Who is the one who told me I can eat in your? Who is that idiot? Don't say that, Allah. This, this is Allah. Don't say that. He will curse us. Mom, we have a neighbor. He is blind. Please tell him. Please tell him that he can eat in his house. Yeah, there's no plane. Who is the idiot? He says that. Don't say that again, Mom. This is Allah. <sighs> I don't know what to say. And they say to you that this is a book of wisdom, and and then. After all this, you know, garbage. He like no sin. I mean, this is the top of the of the funny of the comedy. No sin. No sin. Shall it be for you, whether you eat together or apart? Oof, 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 oof. I was really afraid that there is a sin if we eat together or apart. I mean, if there's other option. Is there? If there's a third option. What do you mean? And why it is sin? The people are eating, my friend. They're not, they're not having sex. I mean, even eating together is sin. Eating my with my brother is a sin. I mean, do I need somebody to teach me that this is not? So, what does that mean? What we learn from this uh, Quran? I want you, if you are a Muslim, to leave a comment. And please be honest. Tell me, what do you think about this astonishing wisdom that Allah he allow you to eat in your house and the house of your brother and the house of your sister? And if you are blind, you can eat in your house. And if you are a lame, you can eat in your house. And if you are sick, you can eat in your house. Oh, why people don't understand? Why? Why you are missing this wisdom? The 
there is any Muslim, may want to say a comment, something. Fool saying there is no God. Yeah. Well, there is God, but obviously this is not a God talking. This is an idiot. He have nothing to say. This is a guy. He is going to the coffee shop. He is very bored. This is my grand grand grandmother who have no education and she is bored. She want to talk about the neighbors. That's not God, my friend. So don't mix between God and stupidity. There's somebody here trying to kill time. There's no way God he will make a verses for you saying to you, if you are blind, you can it's okay to eat in your house. I mean, what does that mean? If a human being need the permission from his God to eat in his house, I mean, what does that mean? You tell me. And especially he's blind or a lame or sick. <laughs> My Skype is not open, guys, because as I said, I don't feel good. So I don't want to, I don't want to increase my blood pressure to go high. Maybe next time. But as you see, uh, There is no way that this is written by God. And by the way, if we read the rest, I mean, the rest is more stupid, no different. But this is just an example of the stupidity of this book, who the Muslim, they keep bragging about how amazing, how beautiful it is. And actually, if you read it in Arabic, it's even more silly. You know? Like, you can tell that the one who wrote this verse, he's very, very, his Arabic is silly. His it, the, the way the, the things is connect, Laysa ala al-a'ma haraj. ولا على الأعرج حرج ولا على المريض حرج ولا على أنفسكم أن تأكلوا في بيوتكم بيوتكم أو بيوت أبائكم أو بيوت أمهاتكم <laughs> In Arabic it's a lot even more funny Unbelievable Man, oh man The new people, Muslims, believe in that Do you really believe in that? Hmm. Anyone? Any Muslim have a comment? Yeah, I'm not going to stay long, but I just wanted to say hello and really apologize. I'm not doing live uh, streaming like yesterday and uh, actually even today, but I felt really a lot better than in the morning. I'm still not feeling good. Uh, but now after I read in this verse, to be honest with you, I feel better because because I'm, I don't feel good. I was wondering, can I eat in my home? I mean, I'm today. Like usually, I don't get sick really. Like I'm, I get sick maybe once every few years, and look like today is one of those. So now, now I feel a lot better. I was asking myself a question. I am. I feel. I don't feel good. Can I eat in my house when I am sick? I I, I opened the Bible. I could not find the wisdom. I opened the Torah. I opened the the the, the four Gospels. I read the words of Jesus. They are not helping but then i opened the quran and in the quran brother i found the answer which was looking for finally somebody is talking to me i can eat in my house even when i'm sick i thought i cannot finally somebody is talking to us i can eat in my house even if i am blind Thank you, Allah. No blame. Look, look at the word blame. I mean, he is not even speaking about. I mean, why in the world somebody will blame somebody for eating in his house? Have you ever heard of a stupidity like this? Yeah, thank you for the donation. Now I can go and buy some food or some medi med medication for, uh, for. Uh, but as you see now, I can eat in my house. 
and even you even if you are not sick or you don't have I mean why somebody I mean look look at this no blame upon the lame the lame is somebody supposedly he cannot walk straight you know he have a problem with his foot or two of them he can eat in his house I mean what is that well this is the first one should eat in his house because he cannot walk around <laughs> I mean what and then even if you are not sick at all yourself whoever you are you can eat in your houses and you are telling me that Allah is not all wise this guy Allah he took him maybe a century to think about this people before Islam they don't eat in their houses they eat in the house of the neighbor like I go to your house you come to my house but after Islam brother Everybody now can eat in his house. Muslims, are you with me? And then look, Allah did not even stop there. You can eat in your the house of your father. Like, that's amazing. I remember myself when I was a kid, and the food, you know, my mom she put the food in the table, and I was wondering, can I eat in the house of my dad? Or I cannot, I can, I can, but I was hungry. Can I? I cannot. I read the Bible, it doesn't say anything like that. See, the Bible doesn't give you an answer, brother. But now the Quran, I wish I did read this verse when I was six years old, kid. But now, by the help of Allah, I get the answer. I can eat in the house of my father. And in the top of that, <laughs> I can eat in the house of my mother. That's astonishing. That's a discovery, actually. How many of you were hesitating many times to eat in the house of your mother? I mean, how disgusting to do it without permission of Allah. Hey, Allah, I can eat in the house of my mother. What about sucking the nipples of my mother when I was a baby? Is it allowed? <laughs> I mean, this is too much. Or the houses of your brothers. Wow. I mean, Allah has given us a freedom here. Look at this a freedom. Or the houses of your sisters. I mean, how much this God is very open minded, brother. Or the houses of your fathers, brothers, even my uncle. Are you kidding me? I can eat in my uncle house. Thank you, Allah. I really, really thank you for this permission. But you notice here, Allah did not give us permission to eat at restaurants. So what we will do now? Nowhere in the verse it mentioned that we can eat in the restaurant. What we will do? Hello. So after Allah counting all those places to eat in, there is no restaurant, brother. If you eat in a restaurant, brother, Allah will destroy you. It is sin, brother. But as I said, this verse, the top of its stupid stupidity, reach this the point where the, you know, with me, guys. Do you agree with me? Do you agree with me? Which is the port, the, the top of the silliness here when he said, "But no sin shall be for you, whether you eat together or apart." <laughs> That's the top, man. This is so. This is beyond the beautiful. Finally, we knew it is not sin if we eat alone or together. I was always worried. I'm eating alone. I live alone. Is it sin? Sin, not sin. Sin, not sin. I mean, I spend all my life not eating because I thought it is sin. But now, now Allah opened my eyes. It is not sin to eat alone or to eat together.
we have a 12 dislike from the Abdul why you don't leave your comment and tell me why you have this like please yeah Muslims why you why you have this like honestly this like to me why what I said I'm just reading the verse how in the world you believe that the one is talking there is God and his name is Allah is that the uh, etiquette of Allah this is the manual of etiquette so if we ask Zakir Naik now uh, Dr. Zakir Naik can we eat together according to Allah brother sister did the person in name the Christian Prince and even though he is sick and he have a high blood pressure, he opened the thought and still he want to make fun of the book of Allah. First of all, before that date, nobody know that this is acceptable. But now, thanks to Allah, we know that it's not sin, so we can eat together or we eat apart. So this idiot, he make fun of the Quran, but the fact it's very wide and very open-minded. As an example, you want to eat in the brother of your house, and you are not sure, should I eat or not to eat? And you your brother. Finally, Allah he said to you, go and eat. No problem. You want to eat in the house of your father. And you are not sure. Finally, Allah he said to you, go and eat. No problem. You want to eat in your house. All of us, we discussed for sensory. Can we eat in our houses? Brother and sister, Allah he said, you can eat in your houses. And there is no problem. And absolutely, this is from the mercy of Allah. Only Allah, He allowed certain allowed that you can eat in your house. As an example, Christians are not allowed to eat in houses. They have to eat in the house of the neighbor. It's haram for them. And the dude, and the Hindus. If you go to India, brother, you will see a lot of people eating curry. And the reason for that, because they cannot eat in their houses. So what they do? They go to the neighbor and they eat curry there. And this is very absolute, absolutely and proven scientifically. Uh, my name is Dr. Dakar Naik, and please don't laugh. <sighs> I'm really, I'm really, I don't feel good about this book. Oh boy. Yeah, why Allah did not mention sushi? <laughs> what about sushi? So say sushi, how you do? Allah is cursing you. Hey Allah, how come you did not say it's a halal to eat a restaurant or sushi or I mean give us more details, Allah. Allah, why you don't make a verse? It says after you eat in the house of your sister, you can go and use the bathroom if your sister. Hello. Because now you said we can eat there. You did not say anything about the poopoo. What if somebody he ate and now he wanna go and pee? There's no permission, brother. What you will do now? We eat in the house of our sister, but we don't pee in the house of our sister, brother. I do not know what to say. Look, the, the, the dislike is increasing from the Muslims. Guys, what about we make a response for the dislike of the Muslims? We have 15 dislike. 15 dislike. We have 616 people watching only because people, they are not expecting me to be here at this time. What about we, we give 16, 615 dislike as a response for the Abdul Abdul why you are giving this like you don't did I say something is not is a true God saying that I mean come on be fair Muslims Muhammadan I'm sure many of you never even heard of this verse Muslims right <clears throat> Anyway, as I said, I'm not going to stay long. Just I wanted to share with you such of the stupidity of this book. And there is no way that this God is talking, as you see. 
and you know use your brain i mean this is this is not only beyond silly this is really really stupid i mean come on god this is god saying i can eat in my house in the house of my brother and i if you are blind you can eat in your house it's okay mm -hmm. I mean, blind where he will go. If he cannot eat in his house, he will eat where? <laughs> this guy, the guy who made this verse, he is either under the influence of marijuana or he is a member of the party of Bernie Sander. It, it, it's one of two. I mean, it, it cannot be, or maybe both. I don't know. Let me think both of them together maybe i don't know but it's for sure yeah for sure it's too much hashish too much hashish right <laughs> you know i hear i heard the speech of this guy bernie sander as the opening for his election campaign I mean, it's the most stupid speech ever. We have to stop war in drugs. Have you ever heard of somebody, somebody saying that? We have to stop war in drugs. <laughs> Abdul, your God is doing the same here. Let us stop war in use. We have to stop using our brain. Drugs is good, brother. Take drugs and die, brother. Yeah. Uh, take overdose and die. Uh -huh. Stop the war and the this is this is drugs. It's okay to eat in your house if you are lame, if you are blind, if you are sick, and even if you are not any of those. Well, thank you very much. I can eat in the house of my mother after all this thinking. Why? Before Islam, people were where, where used to eat. Where pe people used to eat before. I mean, this is really, this is really sick. I'm thinking to make a book, it's called No Sin If You Eat Together or Apart. <laughs> and let us see how many Muslims will insult the name of my book and they say it's silly. Hmm? Imagine a guy he is God and now he says gather gather I have something something to say to you very important everybody everybody No, the Arab first because I speak Arabic. I don't speak uh, English. Sorry Arab Christian Prince He come first because you are an Arab and then we are Arab sitting around Allah and now now is talking to Allah and he says to us It is no sin if you eat alone or if you eat together and all of us the Arab we say like wow but in Arabian way Arabian way like in Arabian we say like no shit you know like in America they say wow in Arabia we say well, no in Arabic no no no, sh no shit excuse my language no shit I mean like wow that's wow that's beyond why why we did not figure this out before we are what's wrong with us but when Allah he came he taught us that we can eat either alone and it's not sin or together and it's not sin I'm very very thankful as an Arab I don't know about you because you're an Arab I don't know how you feel about that I feel sorry for you if you don't enjoy it but if you ask me, I really, really, really enjoy it, you know, because finally we can eat either together or alone. And me, myself, I like to eat alone. <laughs> oh, boy. We have 17 dislike only Muslims. What's wrong with you, Muslims? You're insulting me. Only 17 dislike. Why? I mean, this is not even it's not even fair. A guy like me, he should have like a thousand dislike. Like, hello.
I'm really upset now. Only 17 dislike. From, uh, here we go. 18 dislike. Thank you for the one who get who put the dislike lately. I mean, thank you, Muslim Abdul. I really appreciate you. And by the way, there is no sin to give me dislike. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> my friends this is cannot be a book of God it is impossible this is silly this is stupid this is an insulting for our brain which is a gift from God you see we believe in God but there's no way God will spend his time Telling us such a stupid silly stuff that is very silly if we put this verse in the Quran or we take it off what is what is that what is this is about what you learn from this very silly now we will mention more silly stuff in in coming uh, videos um, and I hope the Muslims will leave their comments and keep giving this like no problem my friend but as you see you cannot you cannot refute it and you cannot answer it and yet the muslim they say to you can you make quran like this okay let me make a quran like this if you are blind you can drink water in your home if you are a lean you can drink water in your home if you are sick you can drink water in your home and you yourself whoever you are you can drink water in your home furthermore if you are blind you can eat pizza in your home if you are not blind still you can eat pizza in your home if you are a lean, you can eat pizza in your home. If you are not a lean, you can too eat pizza in your home. If you are not any of those, you can eat pizza in your home. Allah is all knowing. Allah knows best. That's that's something. I'm not going to stay longer with you. Please leave your comment, download the video, share it with your friends. And I hope soon I will get better, especially after I heard this wisdom now. I feel better eating alone. And I feel better eating in my house. And the house of my mother, I thought I never can do that. <clears throat> Sorry. I mean, this is, that's something. Or the house of my sister and the brother. Mm -hmm. Or your house. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean... I never thought I can do that. Finally, I can eat in my house. I feel a lot better. I, I was feeling guilty. I was wondering I will go to hell. I will go to heaven if I eat my house. What will happen to me? What God judgment on me if I eat my house? What God will do to me if I'm blind and I'm eating my house? What is the punishment for me being a lame and eating my house? Or being a sick and eating my house? But finally, the permission from Allah. The God of mercy, he says, you can eat in your house. I'm so grateful. I'm crying. Not because I'm cutting onion now because I want to eat in my house, but because of the wisdom of Allah. This is too much. With this too much wisdom, I say to you, may the Lord bless you. And as you see, we prove every day that Islam is false, made by a man to the silly man. It's not even made for a smart person you have to be really silly to believe in such a religion so my friend wake up use your brain before it's too late thank you very much Christ is Lord Islam is false I mean to that and see you soon again bye bye